Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Fox News viewers fire back after Shep Smith's latest comments about President Trump. Once again, the liberal globalist Fox News host that is Shepard Smith has managed to upset all his Trump supporters as he drew serious condemnation after he spent most of his mediocre Fox News show critiquing President Trump's truthful comments about NATO. Smith claimed that the truth about NATO is that every nation has made a pledge to spend 2% of their GDP by 2024 and that President Trump is being unfair by saying they don't pay their fair share. Trump made forcing NATO members to pay their fair share a major part of the campaign and of his talking points while overseas. He has stressed multiple times that he wants member states to contribute at least 2% of their GDP to the overall budget, and nations did pledge to do so by 2024. But why 2024? Here is more via Lynx Media. Shep Smith drew a strong reaction on Wednesday after a fiery critique of President Trump's visit to Brussels for the NATO summit. The truth is, every NATO country has paid its bills for NATO's shared budget. No country, not one, is delinquent, said Smith. About four years ago, NATO members agreed to beef up their militaries, to spend 2% of their country's gross domestic product for defense by 2024. Trump has made forcing NATO members to pay their fair share a major part of his agenda while overseas, wanting member states to contribute at least 2% of their GDP to the budget, which the countries pledged to do by 2024. Obviously that deadline is six years away and only a handful of those countries have reached that goal," Smith continued. In each of the last four years, the vast majority of European nations in the alliance have increased their defense spending as a percentage of GDP. The combined increase is more than $87 billion in defense spending. The trend is positive. Just as President Trump has been demanding. Smith is a consistent critic of the president, and often draws the ire of viewers with his segments that take aim at Trump's agenda. Here is more on NATO via history. In 1949, the prospect of further communist expansion prompted the United States and 11 other Western nations to form the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO. The Soviet Union and its affiliated communist nations in Eastern Europe founded a rival alliance, the Warsaw Pact, in 1955. The alignment of nearly every European nation into one of the two opposing camps formalized the political division of the European continent that had taken place since World War II. 1939-45. This alignment provided the framework for the military standoff that continued throughout the Cold War, 1945-91. Conflict between the Western nations, including the United States, Great Britain, France and other countries, and the Communist Eastern Bloc, led by the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or USSR, began almost as soon as the GS fell silent at the end of World War II, 1939-45. The USSR oversaw the installation of pro-Soviet governments in many of the areas it had taken from the Nazis during the war. In response, the US and its Western allies sought ways to prevent further expansion of communist influence on the European continent. In 1947, US leaders introduced the Marshall Plan, a diplomatic initiative that provided aid to friendly nations to help them rebuild their war-damaged infrastructures and economies. Events of the following year prompted American leaders to adopt a more militaristic stance toward the Soviets. In February 1948, a coup sponsored by the Soviet Union overthrew the democratic government of Czechoslovakia and brought that nation firmly into the communist camp. Within a few days, U.S. leaders agreed to join discussions aimed at forming a joint security agreement with their European allies. The process gained new urgency in June of that year, when the USSR cut off ground access to Berlin, forcing the U.S., Britain and France to airlift supplies to their sectors of the German city, which had been partitioned between the Western Allies and the Soviets following World War II. The discussions between the Western nations concluded on April 4, 1949, when the foreign ministers of 12 countries in North America and Western Europe gathered in Washington, D.C., to sign the North Atlantic Treaty. It was primarily a security pact, with Article 5 stating that a military attack against any of the signatories would be considered an attack against them all. When U.S. Secretary of State Dean Acheson (1893–1971) put his signature on the document, it reflected an important change in American foreign policy. For the first time since the 1700s, the U.S. had formally tied its security to that of nations in Europe, the continent that had served as the flashpoint for both world wars. The original membership of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO) consisted of Belgium, Britain, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy. Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal and the United States. 
NATO formed the backbone of the West's military bulwark against the USSR and its allies for the next 40 years, with its membership growing larger over the course of the Cold War era. Greece and Turkey were admitted in 1952, the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, in 1955 and Spain in 1982. Unhappy with its role in the organization, France opted to withdraw from military participation in NATO in 1966 and did not return until 1995. Notice how so many of NATO nations have all the money they want to spend on bringing in Muslim immigrants but never seem to have enough money to pay their fair share when it comes to things the US can be forced to pay for? And the worst part is that till now we have done it without even as much as a complaint from past presidents who always claim to be on our side by who now seem like they were working for foreign nationals all along. The truth of the matter is that only five nations pay 2%. And only the US pays almost 4%. Why? Why we? as a nation that's broke and under heavy debt need to pay over twice what any other nation pays. What do we get out of this? Except maybe the hate of the world who never seems to consider what we do for them as being enough, and always seems to want more? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.